Welcome everybody to Minecraft Map Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a thematic puzzle map called Enigma. Now, Enigma, like I said, is a puzzle map and it is designed for 1 to 4 players and it is for Minecraft version 1.16.5. This was the first map made by creator Juan Hoos. Uh, sorry if I said the name wrong, but let's dive right into what I think of the map. First, the aesthetic of the map. It's not the most beautiful map, but it's also not a terrible looking map either. The courtyard area and the inside of the building were some of the best parts, and they looked pretty well, pretty uh, polished, actually. They looked really, really nice. Uh, but the sewers and some of the other later areas just didn't have that same look, and they didn't have any texturing or anything like that. It was just plain cobblestone, and it was very, very dark. Probably a little bit too dark. It took away from the actual experience, I think. It didn't add to the theme in any way. Next, we're going to go over the polish of the map. Now, this map had a couple... Made mainly two big issues. The first was a parkour area in the courtyard that you could get to, and it could get you trapped permanently, and you would have to use cheats to get out, which is bad. The second issue was that there was a parkour section inside the building of the map where you could actually skip all the puzzles and just make it to the end, and that was very, very bad. However, the rest of the map seemed well put together, and there wasn't any exposed wiring or anything too obvious other than those two hidden parkours. Now, the purpose of the map I want to talk about a little bit more in depth. Because this map, at surface value, is a puzzle map, right? That's what it's uh, called on Minecraft Maps. However, it's advertised, and you can see in the trailer here, as it's not just a puzzle map, it's a story. And I think that's a huge misdirection. There's almost no story in this map at all. There's a brief tidbit of story at the very beginning and a brief tidbit of story at the very end, but nothing at all in the middle. You learn your reporter, you do a bunch of puzzles, and at the end you learn nothing too important. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you because this is a spoiler-free review, but overall, the story was just not there. Now, what about the puzzles themselves? Honestly, they were a little bit too easy. The majority of the puzzles were look for something as opposed to solve something. There was a couple basic math, a uh, maze or two, and some parkour, and that about sums it up. There were no actually innovative or interesting puzzles, and they were very simple. Now, that's not necessarily the worst thing to have simple puzzles, but a little bit too simple for me. Next... Let's go over the length of the map. Now this map, for what it is, a basic puzzle map, was just about the right length, I'd say. It wasn't too long, wasn't too short. My biggest issue in the length section is that there were a couple puzzles that, you know, a maze here or there, or maybe just walking down a long corridor uh, and flipping switches and stuff. And at the end of them, you had to just go through it on the way back. You shouldn't really have to do the same thing twice. I think it should have had a bypass to get back to the start so you can get quickly onto the next puzzle. I think that would have been a better pacing for the map. Lastly, I'm going to talk about my enjoyment of the map. Now, this map was... I actually enjoyed it a lot. It was very fun. It was very quick. Um, it wasn't my favorite map of all time, and I don't think it was even necessarily in the top maps I've played. But for what it was, a simple, basic, easy puzzle map, I did enjoy it. And so I'm not going to give this one a failing grade or necessarily the best grade of all time, but it's definitely a passing grade. Very, very fun if you just want a quick, simple, easy puzzle map. Overall, I think this map was just trying to do too many things and it needed to simplify itself down a bit. And that's why I'm going to give this one a grass rating. It wasn't the worst map of all time. And it, with a little bit of work, it could have been a really solid puzzle map. Very beginner level, but very solid nonetheless. i am looking forward to seeing that work happen in the future if the creator updates the map. Anyway, thank you all for watching. and I'll see you all in the next review.